Naomi Alvarez says there's a sense of justice now that the man accused in the hit and run that injured her and killed her best friend has been taken into custody less than two weeks before Christmas. I had this fear that he would somehow be able to spend it with his loved ones. Brett Dimmick is charged with reckless homicide and failing to report an accident resulting in death. It was back in August when prosecutors say Dimmick drove a BMW through a stop sign in the 3500 block of North Fremont Avenue, striking Alvarez and Sophie Allen. Allen died from her injuries. There is nothing that we could have done differently uh, other than maybe walk on a different sidewalk. Alvarez says Allen, a cancer survivor, was visiting from Florida and the two explored Chicago. They had just taken this picture at Wrigley Field not long before the crash happened. It's hard for me to make sense of, you know, if we were to do that day again, what we could have done differently. Prosecutors say after the crash, two men could be seen on surveillance video running from the car. Today in court, they said minutes before the two women were hit, Dimmick was involved in another crash. As the BMW turned westbound onto Addison, it struck a white Jeep that was traveling eastbound on Addison. Prosecutors say Dimmick has been convicted of DUI in the past and his license has been revoked since 2009. Today, a judge calling him a significant danger to the public set his bond at $500,000. Karen Jordan, ABC7 Eyewitness News.